Hi, we're sitting here with Haley, and this is Ragamuffin? It is a Ragamuffin. Oh. What kind of breed is Ragamuffin? Um, it's a long-haired breed. This particular one is a kitten. They were developed from rag dolls, um, and we brought in things like Siberians, Persians, Burmans, several other breeds to create something a little different. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about some cat show etiquette for a first-timer? Sure! What do you want to know? Um, if I see a cat, am I allowed to pet it? Um, the general rule is it's polite to ask. Okay. Um, most people don't want you to touch their cats if you don't ask. They yes. might be doing something like getting ready to go to the ring, mm -hmm. and especially with long hairs, it can mess up the fur. Oh, yeah. And some people are concerned about if you've been touching other cats in the show hall, they might ask you to hand sanitize, things like that. Um, how about photographs? I, some people are funny about it. Mm -hmm. um, some people prefer to be asked. It personally doesn't bother me, mm -hmm. but it's very competitive. I mean... There's, there's a lot more that goes into it than people realize. I mean, I was up at 5.30 this morning washing this cat and oh, really? blowing him dry and doing all that. Does it take longer to get the cat ready than yourself? Absolutely. <laughs> Is there any sort of special training when you're, you're uh, showing a cat? Um, no, not particularly. Um, if I bring out a new kitten, mm -hmm. a lot of times I like to get there early, and what I'll do is I'll actually I'll put it on the judging stand and play with it and put it in the show cages and play with it and... Um, might even feed it treats up there, something like that, so it gets that this is a positive, good experience. The main thing about a show cat is you want to start when they're very young, mm -hmm. so then they get used to it, then they do this. If you bring if you bring an adult cat out that's not been in this environment, it's not used to all the noise, the activity, it can be a little much for them. The cats all, all here seem very happy, it just, it's not... They are. If you make it a positive experience mm -hmm. for them, they enjoy it. I mean... He gives me a little fuss in the bathtub, yeah. but <laughs> he, he not too much fuss. He just whines at me. But mm -hmm. as far as showing, he likes to get up there and play and play with the toys and go mm -hmm. up the judging pole, and it's a big time. The judges look like they're having a lot of fun, too, because they always have the cat toys and the cats are... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot that goes into being a judge. I mean, they basically have a Ph.D. in cats and the standards, so you would have to love to do what they do. The main reason that people show... Um, well, there's several reasons. Um, as a breeder, I want to get feedback from the judges that my cats are meeting the standard, that my breeding program is going the right direction, and if I'm earning prizes and if... I'm being successful in the rings. I, I know I'm doing that. My cats mm -hmm. are to the standard. The other reason that people show is you're awarded points mm -hmm. based on how you perform, and those points are kept uh, by CFA, and they can be applied towards breed wins, regional wins, national wins, depending on the number of points you get in mm -hmm. a season. So you're actually getting titles for your cats. Oh, very neat. Yeah. These are um, cats that are shown from what? <laughs> shown from four to eight months. Mm -hmm. Adults that are not neutered are called champions, and they're shown from eight months and up. Mm -hmm. And then premieres are cats that have been neutered, and they are eight months and up as well. And mm -hmm. then non-pedigreed cats are shown in the household pet category. What kind of things do they judge the cats on? Well, it depends. Um, for pedigreed cats, they're judging. We all have a written standard. Each breed has a standard, mm -hmm. and you're trying in your breeding program to get as close to that as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as a perfect cat, but you're trying. That's mm -hmm. where you want to get. And each cat is judged against that. Um, for what household really pets, like it's a little different. It's really based on long how healthy the cat is. 67, you can tell it's loved, mm -hmm. that it's enjoying being there, that's that well-groomed, things like that. So I'm having a blast here. How would I get started in something like this? Well, it would depend. You have a couple options. You could either, like I said earlier, you could show your household pet, mm -hmm. which, I mean, you would do since you have one. Mm -hmm. You could purchase a uh, pedigreed kitten. Um, <laughs> sorry. That's okay. That's so funny. He's like, I'm playing this right now. He's a mess. Um, but anyway, what you would do is you can look up shows online, and you know, you find shows that are local to you. They keep a listing. Mm -hmm. Um, the website that I use is catshows.us. Mm -hmm. Um, CFA also keeps like a text version. Mm -hmm. And you pick out shows that you want to go to, and online there is an entry form. You submit it. You show up. Um, yeah. You pay it. You know, there's an entry fee, of course. You can either pay that a lot of times beforehand, mm -hmm. or you can pay it at the door. Um, the only requirements really are that your, uh, your cage has to be covered 
on three sides, front open, mm -hmm. things like that. You can use the pop-ups that some people use. Mm -hmm. And then as far as grooming, it would depend on the breed you were showing or what have you, mm -hmm. but that's the basic requirements. And then you're assigned a number, mm -hmm. like this kitten's number 32, so I just kind of follow along. I know he's a long-haired kitten, so when they start calling long-haired kittens, I kind of, you know, I listen, and when his number is called, I place him in the cage. Um, the judge will judge him, hang ribbons, and then you wait until your numbers turn down. Mm -hmm. That's important because you're not supposed to get him out of the cage okay. beforehand. So wait till the numbers turn down, and then you go collect Kitty. Oh, okay. And then if judge really likes Kitty, uh -huh. they will call them back for what's called a final, and mm -hmm. that's the top ten of all the cats of that category that they've oh, seen. Wow. And um, then you get a pretty rosette for that. Oh, nice.